everyone, welcome back to 3D Printing Dorks and today we will be unboxing Filament. So everyone, as my uh, sister Danielle said previously, um, we will be unboxing filaments. As I did before say, um, I will be unboxing uh, some Matter Hackers filament that I was going to order uh, for the Prusa MMU2S machine uh, or upgrade, which I will get in the uh, near future. So let's get to it. There's about there's a lot of filament in here. I think about six, seven spools. Uh, one of them is actually for the Lulzbot, which I'll talk about later. So yeah, let's open it. I'm just gonna open the top. Sides here. I've actually unboxed uh, Matter Hackers filament many times before, and it's always pretty epic. So here we have some paper. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of filament. So let's just take this camera over here and show you how much. Is in here? Yeah, that's a lot of filament. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, what filament do we have? Um, we have, uh, some green filament right here. Um, yeah, that's pretty epic. Let's put it off to the side. We have some red filament. They're matter hack. This is the, by the way. These are all PLA 1.75 millimeter diameter um, of their MH build series, not the Pro series. I absolutely hate the Pro series. I've had bad experiences with it, and uh, that's basically I think what started clogging clogging up my little spot. So not gonna get that again. Here we have the uh, teal, which is the blue. Uh, another MH build series. That's three already. Here's yellow. Not so special. I mean, they're all special. They're pretty epic. Uh, that's four. Five is our white. Starting to stack up. And six, we have our um, black. So I've actually had a couple spools here before. I have um, orange, black, and purple. And this is the color fab. We're going to go throw this box off over there. We've got the color fab, this packing slip, uh, the color fab PLA slash PHA um, blue, it says right here, yeah, it says ultra marine blue, just make sure this is working, yeah, so it says ultra marine blue uh, PLA PHA 2.85 because I need it for the Lulzbot printer to get some tests running on the regular shooter because my, uh, Super detailed one is pretty uh, pretty clogged up right now. So just open this. That's the box. It's back. It's actually kind of new compared to the old one. We got the old one over here. I mean, I don't know if it was is different from the engine, but I used to love their engine. Here we have the uh, old box compared to. I guess the somewhat new new box. This is like crappier, honestly. This is more cardboard, but hopefully the filament's still better. As before, I ordered color, uh, ordered other. This is actually a uh, 0 0.75 millimeter spool. Um, sorry, not uh, 0 0.5 kilogram spool, not a one kilogram spool like uh, this giant tower over here. Um, but this is going to be just used for the uh, Lulzbot. So, I am going to take these out, some of these out, and I wanted to do a couple of test prints, so we'll see you back when that is done.
So since the last cut, uh, as you saw, we did uh, do a time lapse of the yellow benchy we have right here, and it came out really well. What I did do was I printed a 0.2 millimeter quality setting on the Prusa. I didn't adjust anything else. It's just 0.2 millimeters uh, layer height and temperature was on 215 degrees Celsius on the nozzle and 60 degrees on the bed. I printed it with the powder coated sheet and you will see the um, highlights on it right now. Um, so my final conclusions on the uh, Matter Hackers MH build series filament. I like it. It's good for the price. It's really like, it's just good in general. Um, not as good as the Prusa one. The Prusa one is a bit more premium. They have like nice um, spool designs. They are much more, much better um, spooled in general. Um, their spooling machines, I guess, are more high quality, but um, nevertheless, these are still really, really good. I did use a yellow filament. Um, these are pretty high quality as well. Um, I previously did have issues where these were actually kind of stuck and like get kind of like in a knot a bit and they weren't able to, and the printer failed several times, but that's that. I'm excited to use the rest of these colors on my multi-material machine. I'm not going to open up any more other uh, colors until I get the multi-material, obviously, because I need a lot more uh, colors for it. I did not start using the um, ColorFab PLA PHA um, filament yet because I haven't had the time to start doing the um, Prusa, uh, sorry, the Lulzbot uh, fixing and troubleshooting, but I will hopefully do that soon um, and maybe do an update video on that. But that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.